Hey guys, it's Rick from Ellis A to Z, and this is the last and final review I will be doing from the Memphis box set. Uh, I have uh, 27 songs really left outside of the concert and the sun sessions, but basically um, I've pretty much done in detail everything that I can as far as explaining what I have found, what I know, and I think everybody else can pretty much go back and review and see the different things and listen to themselves or with themselves. With the rest of them, I might do a couple, but I'm going to do nine today. I picked nine from the, uh, throughout the American Sound, Stacks, and the Jungle Sessions. Okay. All right, so before we get into this, um, I'm sure there's a lot of you out there that follow Richard Croft's channel, The Elvis Workshop. Um, I, I watch him all the time. Um, he's got some great stuff, and I've learned a lot, and, and it's just he's piqued my interest um, on a lot of stuff. And he just did, came back from Elvis Week guess he hadn't done a few videos for a little while. But he actually had the opportunity to run into Ernst Jorgensen and Matt Ross Spang. And he did a little bit of a review of the Memphis box set. And he shared a few opinions about a few songs that are very similar to mine. Um, I'm not saying that his overall review is the same as mine, because I can't say that. But I respect Richard's opinion also, too, because he's. He, I think he's got a very strong musical background and based upon what I heard in this video he does so I guess he asked the question of Ernst or or of the guys about the issues that are coming out and the complaints about the sound quality and and you know the timing like with suspicious minds and all that I don't want to go through everything on his on his video because I want everybody to go watch it I'm going to put a link to his video in my description but the thing that really irritated me is what Ernst Jorgensen told Richard. Is that what we got was everything stripped down to the bare bones. They took the originals, took out all the overdubs. So that answers the question of them starting off with the originals, with the overdubs, which I knew they had. And we got the bare bones. But I call BS on that. Um, that is one big pile of shit. That's the response that they gave uh, gave Richard. I think it's bull. Because how do you strip down the original that's in stereo? And you take out the overdubs, the vocals and all that. But you still got the basic instruments. And we're talking about American Sound where they recorded... All the main instruments, the piano, the keyboard, the organ, the drums, everything. You strip out all the overdubs, and all of a sudden you wind up with a mono product, or basically very close to a mono product. You don't have a very good stereo quality anymore. Now, I know I keep harping on stereo, but, <laughs> you know, we're not living in, in 1960 or 1950. We're not listening out on AM radio. Now, people, now, I will tell you, there's a few songs that came out that came out really good and wasn't bad as far as quality-wise in the mono sound. I don't particularly like mono, but the qualities of those came out good. I just don't like the mix. And that's what they did is they, well, they remastered it that way. We've discussed about remixing and remastering and the differences. These were not remixed. They were remastered. So anyway, um, I just wanted to say I just wanted to say that, and I want everybody to go over and see his video because it's a really good video. Um, it looks like he had a great time, and what an honor to you know. I, I really highly respect Ernst. I think he fell short on this project. I I don't know if he just dropped the ball. I don't know anything about Matt Ross Spang until now. Um, I don't have I don't have a much of an opinion on this project. What he got Grammys for, he, you know, he, like I said before, he probably deserved. But anyways, go over there and take a listen to Richard's video. It's really good. And like I said, I'll put the link down below. Um, anyway, um, let's just move forward.
Bye. Rant. But that's how I feel. So anyway, what we're going to do today is, first of all, once again, if you want to understand what I'm trying to tell you, you may not listen to it all the time. And I know some people have commented, well, you know, I could still hear what you're saying. And it's true. You could probably hear what what I'm saying on a good stereo system or I don't. I honestly don't believe you can really get true what I'm saying off of an iPhone unless you're wearing headphones. So um, put them on just for this, please, because I, I you know, it, that's what my efforts for is for you to understand. And I listen to headphones because it makes me feel like I'm in the studio there listening to it. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. So, anyways, this is what we're going to do today. We're going to do these nine songs. And, uh, you know, it depends on how everything goes. I'll take a look at what's left, but I'm prepped to do any of the others. But I think this is going to pretty much cover. We got, we got three from the, from the Memphis, I'm um, from American Sound. We got three from Stax and we got three from the Jungle Room. And because these are ones that either they mean something to me or they're just great songs. I love them. And I'm praying that they come out good. So. We might as well just get started and get cranking here. So we're going to go to screen capture here. And I'm going to open up the Memphis, the box, and my audacity. Oh, the audacity of it all. So I'm going to make sure that's open all the way. So, um, uh, we talking? Yep, we are. Okay, so I'm just checking volumes. So anyway, um, we got Stranger in My Own Hometown. And I had originally put this in one of the, the last one, but I had a syncing problem where they wouldn't sync up together. And I think there, it, it, when you go to the end of this song, which if you take a look, let me get rid of that, put the color. When you get to the end of this, you can see that they added a little bit of time to it, which is cool, you know, that's fine. As long as when they did that, we don't wind up with another any day, you know, straight <laughs> crowd, you know, Type, yeah, anyway, y'all yeah, get my drift. So, on this one, there's a little bit of an intro. On the new one, they they kept in some of the studio work, but on the on the one that was released on the master, that wasn't in there. So I had to adjust it and sync that timing. So, and like before, I said, you know, the red is the original and uh, the blue is the new. Now we've mentioned this before. I just looking at the waveforms, you can tell that there's a difference on the left and the right. So you're going to hear that really strong in the headphones on the on the new 24 it's going to sound very mono so i'm going to go back and forth just with probably but we'll probably go through about two uh, a minute and a half two minutes of the song and i'll probably go towards the end and just kind of see how it winds out only problem is is there will be a, a little bit of a timing issue but you'll get the point it's not enough to make it the sound i know i keep walking away from the microphone so let's start off with of course 1969 was the original Stranger in My Hometown. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'll get, I'll play that. Yeah, no, let's do, do it. I'm sorry. All right, so there'll be a little bit of silence. So you hear the separation. Bass in the, uh, you, know, you can hear the separation. Uh, I'll shut up. Love this song. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna flip over to 2024. I'm like a Huge difference in sound. Like a stranger in my home. All mono. I'm like a stranger. We're not gonna listen to a whole lot more. Like a stranger in my home. Let's go back to the stereo. See what they stripped out. I came home. I came home with the intentions about five or six years ago. And see, they they stripped out the strings. Let's go back to let's go back to this right here. We're gonna go back to the original. Right, Here's the strings. Right there. Do, do, do. I came home. 
Now to the news. So that's their stripping of their bare, bo bare bones. But how in the hell do they wind up with a mono product? I don't know. I don't like this version because it's mono. I don't like this version, and I'm done with this. I will show you the intro, what they left in there. Now that's stereo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so anyway, Stranger in My Hometown. I'm not happy with I absolutely love the song. Anybody ever heard the R-rated version? <laughs> anyway, so you'll think of me. Oh, love this song. Please tell me it's good. All right, so let's get to the beginning here. And mm, looking at the waveforms, folks. Let me squeeze these up a little bit. Okay, so to the beginning. And let's start off with... Now, keep in mind... Take a listen to the separation, and the thing you want to really want to hear is when you're hearing in the original, the strings and the backup vocals and all that, those are the overdubs that supposedly they took out. And that's another point. They didn't really take out all of those. They didn't strip every song down to the bare bones. So that's another misleading comment, and I'm just really getting, losing just a little tiny respect with... The, you know, talking, anyway, I'm sorry, here we go. You'll think of me, I love the, I love the, the start. Mm. God, I gotta love that stereo, guys. I'm sorry now, girl, mm. but I must Okay, we're going to 2024. There's something deep inside my soul keeps calling me. I'm sorry. The winter wind, girl, will not deceive you. And okay. you're cold. So I'm going to listen for some overdubs here in the original, and then I'll replay that area to see what came in and out. Deceive you, and in your cold and empty bed, you'll think of me. Oh yes, you'll think of me. You see. Okay, let's go back. Think of me. See how the backup girls are gone? So they stripped that part down. Let's keep going with the, the new version. Coming, you'll see me go. Don't ask me why. Original. Mr. Kind needs to be free. But just like that, not always. Keeps all the blow. I'm, I'm done with that one. So you guys get my point. Um, now, there's nothing wrong with the sound quality of the, of the new one. Nothing. Not on this one, not on the one before. And I think the majority of people will like that sound. I mean, they'll love it. You know, They'll love the stripped down part. And it's cool to have the stripped down part. But I want it, be, I want it to be left in stereo, please. You know, because here's here's the deal. I get a product and it comes out as a mono. I can't do anything with it, but listen to it in mono ever. I get a product that's stereo. I can listen to it in mono if I want to. And most of your stereo systems, you can you could put a mono button on it and it'll pull the mono. Or you just don't have your speakers spread so far apart. You can eliminate as much of that stereo as you can. But the thing is, you're still going to get the same stuff as you do in the mono. It's just going to be a little separated. You get the same sound. Some people want to just hear it right down dead center, you know, and that's fine. I have no problem with that. But I'm not happy with this one either. Um, I'm sorry. I love this song, too. God, I love that song. All right, so here's my, probably my second favorite song on this whole album. On the whole Elvis, from Elvis in Memphis album. Long Black Limousine, folks. 
So now, let me squeeze these together. I got this way out. I got the waveform so far stretched out. Let me close it back in. Okay, so here we go. Haven't heard it yet. Don't know what it's going to come out like. But here we go. Starting off with 1969. I mean, listen. Close your eyes. There's a love. Instruments are high Okay, I'm going to go to the other one solo, and I'm going to start all over with it on the new, and see if you can hear the separation of the piano, the, the snap. Just listen. There's a long Okay, so now they've brought the organ up and the piano's gone, which is fine. I love an organ. This song probably suits better with an organ. But it doesn't stand out. And I know the purpose was to make Elvis' voice stand out. But how much better does his sound is better when his voice is centralized in the center and nothing else is draining it out? All the other instruments are away from it. So you're hearing more. And we've heard this in some of the other songs where supposedly... His voice was raised out. What song was it that we talked about in the last review where his voice was less? I don't remember the song. Take me off too much. So let's listen to a little bit more of this. Driving down our little street. See, everything's right. Near fancy cars. In the center of my head. Are such a sight. His voice is stronger too in the original. They're all your rich friends who knew you in the city. And now they finally brought you, mm. brought you home to me. Okay, let's see what it sounds like and what they dropped out here in. When you left, you know you told me that someday you'd be returning. Okay, I'm going to play 69 until I find some of the stuff that should be overdubbed out. Hear the backup singers? You finally had your dream. Okay, so let's see if they're gone here. Go back to 115. So they did. They took them out. And, you know, that's, that was the intention. That's what we all expected. Anyway. Um, a little bit more. You finally had your dream. You know, I I know I I know that I jump around with this stuff, but this this isn't what this wasn't to play all the songs all the way through. This was to examine. So I'm gonna go towards the ending of the song here. See, they took the horns out. Very plain now. Through two field eyes, I'll watch as you ride by. I'm done. Sorry, guys. I'm done. That, uh, I, I, I'm not happy with those three. Gentle on my mind was just perfect. You know, a great job I did. Do you know who I am? A few of the others that, you know, I really liked from the American Sound came out really good. And he kept them in freaking stereo. Jesus. Okay. I'm sorry I keep saying that. I really don't mean to keep saying that. I know that probably offends a few people and I apologize. 
Okay, here's another American sound. Without love, there's nothing. Great song. All right, so we got that. We got to let me squeeze this up. Squeeze this up. Go there and start off with the original. Here we go. I awaken this morning. I was filled. How can you not love me? With despair. All my dreams turn to ashes and gone. As I looked, as I looked 24. at my life, it was barren. And barren. Okay, we're going to really check it out here in the course. Start off with 69. Here we go. Took off the backups and still left it in stereo, and it would sound fantastic. Raise the level on Elvis's voice a little bit. You got the pure sound. This is not bare bones, walk away. Hey, here's the product. BS. And none of this, guys, trust me, I love Richard Cross channel, and this has nothing to do with what he said. This is Ernst. These are the people that did this. You know, anyways. Okay, one, two, three, four, five more. Love in Arms. Oh, great song. Wasn't this... This was used in the Godzilla movie, wasn't it? Yeah, it's a great song. Okay, so we can see that it's a little bit softer here. It almost looks like they're both mono, but I don't think so. So we're going to start off with that. Right there. Let's shrink this back down to... We see, oh, yeah, here we go. We, we got a little bit of... Okay, so start off. Mm -hmm. If you could see me now In the organ? One who said that he'd rather roll 24? Ooh. The one who said he'd rather be alone. Wow, I like if you could only see me now. Oh, if I could God, hold yes. you now just for a moment. So you could freaking be done. God, and if I could really make you mine, mm. just for a while. Play this a little bit longer, guys. I'm not even gonna go back. To the original. Let's go back to the original for a second. I've been too long in the wind. New. Too long in the rain. We have a winner. Taking any comfort that I can. Looking back and longing for the freedom of my chain. Guys, we have a winner. Absolutely, I actually love this better than the original. I love the original, but this one is going to be on my playlist. On my, and I play. I have a playlist called Chill, and it's got. You know, everybody knows that I love all kinds of music, all kinds of you know, 60s, 70s, and I'm not going to say it again because 
because it, it, it's true. Um, but my my set, I've got the full Memphis Mid South album on my chill, but I've got a mixture of Keith Urban and Spirit and Sky by um, Norman Greenbaum and, and you know Credence and I can go on and on. Toby Keys. <laughs> stones anyway all right y'all shut up all right guys we have a winner please have one on this one i used to love to play this song this is the only gospel song i ever really played on guitar <laughs> i'll tell you a little quick story uh when i when i left the hotel industry for a little bit i went down to branson missouri which look it up i'm not gonna get it much to it it's like a mini mini vegas well, it was back then, I think it's a lot more, a lot of, a lot of show places, and, you know, people had their own theaters, but I went down there towards the wintertime, so I went around with, I met, I met a guy down there, and we, we did duets around playing little coffee places, and we had somebody ask us if we'd come and play at a church on a Sunday. Now, I'm, I, you know, I'm a strong believer in God and everything, but I'm not a church goer, so the only, <laughs> It's funny because there was four of us, and the only person that knew any gospel songs was me. So we went there, and I did where where could I go but to the Lord, and I did help me. Got kind of a really nice response. So anyway, I digress. Sorry, guys. Okay, so now you're gonna notice on this one that there's nothing here. That's because they did it. It's kind of like a a false start. So. I'm going to play that false start first till we get to there, just to hear it. Oh, you know what? I'm just going to start Help Me from right here. All right, guys. Solo there. And then when I come back to here, I'll stop it and I'll go back to there. So here we go. i got to squeeze this up a little bit. That's too much. All right, so here we go. Oh, yes. Lord. Help me walk another mile, just one more mile. I'm tired of walking all alone. All right, so let's go to the, let's go to here. Now we're going to listen to the false start and we'll take it on. And then I'll go back and forth. I'm going to try to kick it in on the original at the, at the course. So you guys, I am ready to begin now. I'll start. Lord, help me walk. I love these studio takes. These are so cool. Lord, Good stereo. Help me walk another mile. Just one more mile. I'm tired of walking. Anytime the acoustic guitar comes up louder, I am happy camper. Help me. Come down. Let's do a little bit more. From your golden throne to me. To love me. me. I need to feel the touch of your tender hand. Remove the chains of darkness. Let me see, Lord, let me see Just where I fit into your master plan I never thought I needed help before I thought that I could get by We'll just finish it out Original 
did the other one loving arms but uh it's good they did a good job on it kept it stereo i told you it's not just stripped down to bare bones and you wind up with a mono crap I, I, i've said enough of that i'm sorry guys okay three more here's a great song uh, george, uh, uh, um, was it? george jones oh. the first time i heard this was by george jones love this song but I'll tell you what why okay so now one thing they did do is they extend excuse me the length of the song added to it i could never i couldn't figure out what they did they just added so we'll just get to that at the end we're going to start off with the original right here great beer drinking song <laughs> I spoke her name somewhere. Listen to his voice. Oh my God, that can happen. Just because I rang her number by mistake today. All I hear is an electric guitar, an acoustic guitar, and a rim shot on a snare. Awesome. You know she. I no backup I yet. Still care. And just because I haunt the same old places, places. where the memory how I linger everywhere. I love singing this song, man. Just because I'm not the happy guy I used to be. Lord, you know she thinks I'm Here's the original. Still so they strip it down to the undub. So they did leave some of the overdubs in there, unless they were there during the recording. This is Stax. No, this is Jungle Room, isn't it? Oh, sorry, guys. they'd raise his voice up more in the new because his voice is real strong but 
the backup vocals do kind of take away from him a little bit in the original. I, I do like the new. It's very good. Let's see how they ended the new. Okay, good version, good one. I like it. I like the fact that his voice is stronger in the original, but I and I kind of wish he'd really brought it up a little bit more in the new. Um, so that tells me it's not bare bones because his voice is lower. They had to have done some kind of adjustment, which could still mean it's bare bones, but uh, they had backup vocals in here, so I don't know. Maybe they were there in the jungle room. What is that? What's the, she thinks she... It's jungle room, right? Yeah. Okay, For the Heart. Great song, guys. And you can tell here that they added a little bit towards the end, but uh, let's start off with the solo. Um, I mean, the original. <clears throat> Losing my voice. <laughs> Guys, I just found a new favorite for the heart. I actually like this version better. Listen to listen to the original and how drowned out, how much busy, how busy it is. Okay, I like it. I like I like it. Got a good one. Okay, we're gonna end on you ask me to an old Merle Haggard. Does Merle Haggard do this? I you know, I, I'm really bad with memories of those years now. You know, some <laughs> so and, and he didn't mean disrespect, he was just questioning because he knows that you know, he knows I'm old. So when we when I did raise on rock, I said you know 1975. So he even had the comment, raise on rock 1975 question mark, and I replied back and it, you know he's very nice and about it. You know I just you know stacks years. I get confused because you know those years is, is some really great albums, but I kind of I get the order mixed up sometimes lately. Um, but anyway, at the end of the day, it's an Elvis album. You know I'm not that picky about that stuff but you know some people are so i apologize when i mess up like that so here we go again another intro uh, i'm going to start off the original at the very beginning of the song that was released and we'll do the same thing i did earlier ready here we go long ago and far away mm. my old common labor shoes i turned the world off with your way just because you asked me to 24 Like I'm to no other fear Ooh. Simple love is simple true Oh my god There's no end of what I do Even better stereo than the original Just because I'm you I'm gonna need a whole pack of cigarettes by the time today's done And I don't smoke Let the world call me a fool 
Okay, let's hear the beginning of what they did. This is an outtake. It's kind of fun to listen to. And then we're going to go to the, towards the end and see how it all ends. All right, so here we go. This is how it... it I get to the beginning? Yeah. Oh, it's just a little playing around. Tuning. Yeah. Long ago and far away My old common labor shoe All right, so let's go towards the end. I want to hear how this ends. Let's squeeze it up a little bit. Jeez, how long is this song? Let's take it about right here. A little solo original right here. That's all that matters and I'll do. That's the original. Anything you ask me. Guys, we have another winner. We had a pretty good day today. Um, Stranger in the Mount Hometown, I wasn't happy with. Um, a, a couple that they went mono. What was it? Was it you'll think of me. It, the, the American Sound, they just, those are the ones that they stayed mono with. And I don't understand. The best album, in my opinion, you ever put out. And you, anyway. So, you guys, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, when you, I'm not going to do it right this second. I'm going to review everything, and at the end, I'm going to have a little card, uh, a, <clears throat> an attachment that kind of grades everything. Not by song. By sessions. Sun, American Sound, Stax, The Concert, Jungle Room. When I bet Jungle Room gets the best grade of improvements. Of course, the concert to me always gets an A. But I can't count that in legitimately because they didn't really do much of anything. But so the ones that, they, that we've reviewed, Jungle Room to me, I don't know if it's going to be an A, but it's going to be the best grade. I can tell you that right now. So guys, listen, I appreciate everybody listening to this series. I know it's a lot. I have broken everything down by chapters. So, you know, go back and listen to certain ones and, you know, hear what I say, we'll talk about. And I want to reiterate one thing. Let's not get into, let's not get into, you know, verbiage as far as like what I've talked about, dubs and overdubs and all that. At the end of the day, it's what we had and what we get now in the comparison and um the end result and protecting the legacy and like i said on my rant everything that El elvis's legacy is everything from the beginning to the day he died that's his legacy good bad or ugly all recording studios everything that's done afterward where they do the remixes you know i mean there's been some cool stuff you know like the like like the um Remixes done by what is it, Oakenfeld and all that. You know, those are pretty cool. I like those. And what they did with the uh, Al uh, the Mo Elvis movie, there's some really cool songs on that. But we knew what to expect. And that was all done to respect. Um, so it does, I think, add to, it respects the legacy, but it's not, to me, it's not his leg. That's not that, anyway. I I'm getting trouble for it. But anyways, I appreciate everybody, all the great comments. Um, I've gotten some great feedback, very, very few negative remarks. Um, and only one of them was just kind of, you know, just a little bit of a smart ass. So I gave him my smart ass back. And I haven't heard a word back, so obviously um, he lost. You guys, TCB, thanks a lot. I got some stuff coming out. Um, at the beginning of this video is a um, little clip to subscribe to a newsletter that comes out once a quarter. It's an Elvis newsletter. It's free. You can add stories to it if you want your own stories. And I'm getting ready to start a new series, so keep an eye out for an announcement for that in a couple of days. Um, so, peace out. Peace up.
Peace over. TCB. Have a good one.